this is Bruce and he has made his own ski joring equipment. It consists of a dog a retractable dog leash. Heavy duty though. The heaviest dog you can find. Which is, can be I think it's about 150 pounds. Okay. And then, and then I just cut it off and attach it to a double lead. Double lead, okay. Double lead, double, double lead. Double ring. And any particular length. Why did you choose that length? I think it's like 12 feet. I don't know. 12 feet? I like. Okay, so it's a personal preference how long that is? Okay, and then what is that attached to? The dog oh, a, leash. A belt, a fanny pack that I had. Okay, okay. can you just, oh, okay, so it's more like, okay, one of, oh, camel, is it a camel back? Yep, it is. Okay. So okay. that's the homemade equipment. Dog one. And this is a traditional ski joring harness for a dog. And there's different sizes, right? Um, the benefit of the ski joring harness is that you hook them from the back, right? Is it okay to have one that you hook from the front? It doesn't do any harm to the dog or anything? Okay. Oh yeah, okay. And that's what you do when Gabby sees other friends on the trail. <laughs> now Gabby knows um, left and right or do they just intuitively follow the trail? So why are you, oh you hook them so they don't spread apart? <laughs> so they don't go in different directions. So they both go in the wrong direction. <laughs> Here's your midi. Keep them from getting tangled up. Oh. 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 That's cool. Oh.